Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm gonna tell you something about the basics of isometric design in Illustrator and we're gonna jump right in and in this video I'm just gonna um, explain to you how to create a grid and how to create some basic actions in Illustrator to easily create and quickly isometric designs. So I have these colors here, put them on the side now and what we're gonna do first is create a grid for our isometric view and for that I'm going to select my rectangular grid tool I'm gonna click once whoops once and in my width I'm gonna go uh, 2500 and on the height as well and for my dividers I'm gonna go with 70 and 70 and I'm using a 1920 by 1080 uh, art artboard by the way uh, hit OK uh, OK so let's make that black those lines so this is our grid Move this a better way. Let's center this. All right. So there we have a, a basic grid. I'm going to turn this around once while holding shift and rotating it uh, 45 degrees like that. And then I'm going to go to the scale tool is uh, right here. I'm going to double click it. So I'll open the properties. And then for uh, non-uniform, I'm going to select that and go to vertical. And I'm going to, I'm going to type in um, 57.74. Hit OK, and that's our isometric grid. I'm going to scale it up a little bit so it fills the whole thing. So this is, these are the parameters for, an, for a perfectly isometric grid. And if I select this grid, and I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, where was it? View, uh, whoop, view, guides, make guides. So now it turns them all into guide layers. Let's see, great. And I can turn, that, uh, turn those layers on and off by pressing Command colon on my keyboard. All right, nice. So now I'm going to create my first isometric uh, shapes. So I'm going to get these colors back. And what I can do is, let's see, let's select this color. And with my pen tool, now I can just start drawing exact on the exact points here. Which when you see intersect, uh, just make sure you have your snap to pixel turned off, by the way. Uh, go to intersect here, and then you can click and then go to intersect there again. So you're on the grid perfectly. And there you can create your isometric 3D designs. So let's just create a little building here. Yeah, on a grid. Give this some lighter color here. And give this a little roof. Like that. So now we have our, our left wall, right wall, and our top or bottom wall. And here you can see this. we have a basic 3D shape exactly perfectly on this isometric grid. I'm going to group these together. Press Command G by selecting them all. And now it's one group. I'm going to click and drag this up while holding Shift to make it go perfectly straight and also holding Option so to make a duplicate. And I'll let go when I have a duplicate. And I'm going to um, change these colors. So I'm going to select this with my white arrow and I'm going to make this, this um, green, lighter green and even lighter green like that. All right, and I'm going to, uh, with my white arrow again, select all these uh, upper points here. I'm going to drag them down a little bit to make it a smaller square. I'm going to place that right on top of here. Yeah, like that. And now I'm going to make this little pointy roof. And I'm going to, first I'm going to create this kind of cross in here and just give that an outline. Doesn't matter which color, just as a reference. And what I'm going to do, we're going to uh, press Command 2 to lock that. And then I'm going to create a new shape right there to this intersect point again. I'm going to drag that up. And I'm going to give that a blue fill. There you go. And I'm going to press Command Option 2. And then to unlock everything, so I can just delete this thing. And now I'm going to create this shape here just from point to point and give that the lighter blue color and there we have a little roof select them both press command G to group them and these points can move up a bit to make it a bit more pointy and I'm gonna make this green thing a little bit bigger now like that so it's gonna got a little overhang make it a bit more interesting make it a little bit taller yeah like that just creating this really basic kind of castle tower here. Uh, right. 
So now we have these three basic shapes. And now I want to add some windows in there. But they need to be rounded off and they need to be isometric as well. So what I'm going to do now is create some isometric, isometric actions in Illustrator. So open up your uh, window and actions. And what I'm going to do is create, first I'm going to create three rectangles. One, two, three. And, you know, let's make them these colors. So it looks nice. All right, I'm going to create three different isometric shapes from this. The right one, uh, the left one, the right one, and the, and the top one, which we did here as well. So the right one, left one, and the top, the little uh, green thing here. So I'm going to go to create a new action, a new folder kind of. And I'm going to, oh no, sorry, this one. Create a new uh, set, a new folder. And let's call this isometric. Oops, isometric, yeah. And in that isometric folder, I'm going to create a new action. And let's call that one ISO left record. So now it's recording everything I'm doing. So I'm going to select the first shape and then I'm going to go to scale, double click the scale property and on non-uniform, I'm going to type in for the horizontal 82 and for the vertical, it's going to be 70,5, 70 and a half. Hit OK. So now it scales that. And you can see that here, the scale property is added to my isometric left action. So it now, remember this one action the next thing we're going to do is share it so uh, again click and hold on your scale tool to can you can open the share tool and then double click it and for your share angle we're going to type in minus 30 degrees hit ok and then we're going to go to rotate so hit r on the keyboard and then double click the rotate tool and then for rotate we're going to go to minus 30 as well and there you go that's our left uh, isometric shape and I'm gonna go to stop here to stop recording everything I do so now this ISO left uh, properties are um, uh, saved within this little folder here so I'm done with that so I'm gonna select this one in my isometric folder I'm gonna create a new action called ISO right oops ISO right yeah record and then I'm going to go to scale again I'm gonna do the same thing here 82 and 70 and a half all right then we're going to go to share and we're going to do the opposite what we did uh, on the left side. We're going to go plus 30. So delete the minus like that. And with our rotate tool, we're going to also go to 30 and then stop the action. So that's our right one. And then we're going to create another one. And that's going to, I'm going to call that ISO top. So like this one, I'm going to do the same things again. Non-uniform, yeah, okay, all right. Then share, and on share, we're gonna go to 30, but then on rotate, we're gonna go to minus 30. Boom, that's our top shape. Stop that right there. And now we have our three basic uh, actions. So if I delete these, and if I, I'm just gonna create this rectangle, and I'm gonna go to ISO left, Hit play to play this whole action. Boom, eyes are left. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go this and go to eyes are right. Boom, eyes are right. Cool. So what I'm going to do now is create a little window. So I'm gonna create this shape here and select both of these top points and round them out completely. And I'm going to give this like this dark color, this one. And I want to make it 3D with like a little uh, window thing inside of it. So I'm going to click and drag it with holding shift and option to the upper left. So it's going to uh, perfectly in this um, in th this way. Select, uh, deselect them and select them both. Go to your Pathfinder tool and I'm going to hit divide. And I'm going to delete this part. So now we have these two shapes. And this shape, I'm going to give this color now. And I'm going to select my pen tool and make it an outline. I'm going to drag a little line over here and just make it overlap a little bit like that. And I'm going to select this shape and the back one, this little line here. I'm going to go do divide again. So now it's made, made two shapes of that. So select all of them and group them together by pressing Command G. And let's go to ISO right. Select that one, hit play, boom, we have our perfect isometric window without too much hassle. 
and I'm gonna give this the right color of course so this up and this one needs to have this already right one yeah so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off my grid here and I can place that in here maybe a bit smaller and there we have our cool little window and if I want to go to my isometric um, uh, left I can just copy and drag it or drag it to copy it and then right click go to transform and reflect and then hit OK and bam you have your left side just change these colors to this and now we can create all of these windows in here really nice really easy and also for a circle of course I'm gonna create a circle and make it like that and then drag it also drag it a bit up and let's intersect them and I'm gonna give this this night color group these together and go to ISO right hit play boom a little round little window let's put it up here awesome nice very nice okay and what I'm gonna, gonna add some bricks so I'm gonna create these bricks like this and make them this color maybe 10% opacity and again go to ISO left hit play boom and you can see that now it has this little weird kind of box around it it's not really straight so if you're gonna go if you right click on it go to transform and reset bounding box your bounding box will just be straight like that and I'm gonna drag that over here I'm gonna select them both press command G and yep and I'm gonna double click so now I'm, in, I'm inside this group so I can't select all the other things and I can just easily while holding option drag them around maybe make uh, make some of them a bit smaller just to create some randomness of course with these bricks okay uh, yep nice all right and I'm gonna drag it over here right click and go to transform reflect okay and fill this wall up as well just by copying all of these shapes just make it random boom there you go looking nice so that's kind of it and if you want to round off these corners you can of course select them with your uh, white arrow and then you can drag these corners in but they're not isometric in that way you see so because then these corners are really small and these colors are really big so what you can do is select this and then go to effect stylize round corners and then preview and it's way too much and then you can just like one or two pixels let's say two pixels now we have our isometric rounded corners uh, as well so and then uh, when you're done with that then go to object and go to expand appearance so these corners are editable again all right very nice uh, that's it that that are the basics of the isometric design let's create a little background here all right boom this one gone all right nice uh, so that's it i hope to see you on the next uh, video i think i'm gonna uh, expand this illustration a little bit in the, in the next video or maybe in the future sometime to create some more isometric illustrations and then of course i'm going to animate it as well in after effects so uh, thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next one thanks bye bye